Hey, do you guys know this this person? Mr. Ivo? You know this person, Mr. Ivo? I've looked all over the market, but with no luck. No idea. No. But finally, I catch a break. I'm told that Mr. Ivo runs his insect export business from his home at the top of a nearby hill. I don't know how these guys get up and down this hill in a car, because I can barely get up and down on my own two feet. After a long hike to the top, I hope I've come to the right place. Mr. Ivo. Yeah? Oh, man, you're not an easy man to find. Now, I've got to convince him to help me out. Coming. OK, great. Let me show you. Oh, wow. You see? We have a ton. Yeah. I love creatures. Ivo is one of the biggest insect dealers in the region. He sells all the small ones. Ah, these are beautiful. And he relies on a large network of middlemen and insect hunters spread out across Cameroon. I have guys in the, in the villages who collect insects mm -hmm. and bring them up to me. And then you preserve them, and then you prepare them, and then you send them to different places around yeah, the world. Yeah. We export to Europe, America, and Asia. He's got tons of the more common giant beetles. Oh, it's so heavy. But even Mr. Ivo doesn't own any rare white goliaths. How many times do you think you would see a white goliath beetle in, in one year? If you're lucky, maybe you find one. One? Yeah. But I've come to see one alive in the wild and only Ivo's beetle hunters can make that dream a reality. Can you help me? Well, I'm not really sure, but I will try to find someone. He might be of help to you or not, I don't know. But I will try to call him and see if he can help you. All right, well, that's the best that we can do, right? Mm. I'll just have to hope that I'll be lucky. If you're a lucky guy, maybe you can find one. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite lucky. Yeah.